hello students so today we will start the second uh, part of the motion in straight line so we will deal with uh, the position path length and displacement so position path length and displacement so students here you can see a number line i have drawn so i have uh, drawn a straight line as it is the motion in a straight line so i have drawn a straight line here and the number line is so uh, the center one will be zero left hand side will be sorry right hand side will be the positive numbers and the left hand side will be the negative numbers so i have uh, uh, written some positions here points here p q o and r okay now if we consider an object moving along a straight line say along a along x axis okay along x axis the position of the object is measured with the reference to of the is measured with the reference to a conveniently chosen origin so how much at what point the object is moving in x axis or in positive axis or in negative axis it is taken from a reference point okay that means if for example if there is a But if there is a mango tree, okay. If there is a mango tree, so tree is a stationary object. And if a person is standing at a distance of twenty-five meter from the mango tree, okay. So that means the tree is taken as the reference to measure the distance of that man, okay. So the position of the man. from the mango tree is 25 meter so similarly here if we want to locate the position of the points so for example let us take p so i will write here i will take position of p is how much it is taken as 7 right so therefore here i'll write here only why to move so position of p will be plus 7 position of q will be plus 5 position of o is 0 and position of r is minus 4 okay so these are the positions so what we can take the positions as we will define the position as the the, the uh, location of the point where it where it is particularly chosen from the origin or from a reference point that is known as the position an object which occupies a point a particular point from a certain reference point is known as the position okay now let us see about the path length what is meant by path length so when the object moves from like for example from o to p so how much distance it has moved from the point o so that distance is taken as the path length the distance moved the moved by the object from from one position to another position is called the path length so from o to p i told you o in the number line is taken as the reference point so from o how much the particle is moving so if the particle is moving from here to here so it is 7 so if you are taking on the number line in centimeter scale so it will be taken as 7 centimeter okay now the the position path length of q is from 
only we will measure that is from here to here it is 5 centimeter so therefore i can write here path length as path length as op equal to 7 centimeter okay or 7 meter what scale we are taking that we will take the unit and oq is equal to 5 centimeter or meter and or is how much minus 4 meter uh, so here in it is path length it is we will not take the minus sign we will just consider the magnitude okay as it is the length so it is the distance only therefore it is taken as the the scalar uh, scale it is a scalar quantity now if we want if the body moves from o to p and again it moves from p to q if a body moves from o to p and back from p to q now total path length we will take it as okay total path length we will take it as o p plus pq that is equal to 7 plus 2 that is equal to 9 meter or centimeter so this is the path length that is path length is nothing but the total distance traveled by the body from one point to another point okay so this is about the path length now let us go to the this and it is a scalar quantity the path length is a scalar quantity right okay now let us speak about the displacement so let us say displacement now So, what is meant by displacement? Displacement of an object is defined as the change in position of the object in particular direction. As yes, you can take down the definition here, I have written. Displacement of an object is defined as the change in position of the object in particular direction. Okay. So, here we take the displacement as it has both magnitude and direction and it is the magnitude of uh, displacement is the shortest distance between the initial position and the final position. So initial position and final position means if we take x1 as the position at a time t1 and x2 as in a time t2 position of the body at time t2 then the it's a displacement will be taken as delta x equal to x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 in the time interval delta t is equal to t2 minus t1 okay so here it will be taken in a it will be taken in a time interval so now let us take x2 as the 7 that is the position of the p and x1 as 0 then it is 7 meter so displacement will be 7 meter along the positive x axis now I will take the second example. If x2 we will take it as minus 4. That is along OR. 
सो हियर इट विल बी माइनस फोर माइनस जीरो दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर मीटर एंड अनदर एग्जाम्पल वी विल टेक अलॉन्ग पी क्यू द डिसमेंट विल बी सो इट इज अलॉन्ग ओ आर एंड पी क्यू वी कैन टेक इट एज डेल्टा एक्स इज इक्वल टू प्लस फाइव सो फाइनल वॉज यर प्लस फाइव माइनस इनिशियल विल बी प्लस सेवेन सो इट विल बी फाइव माइनस सेवेन सो इट विल बी माइनस टू मीटर माइनस टू मीटर सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव टेकन फ्रॉम द नंबर लाइन ओके सो विच इंडिकेट्स द मोशन ऑफ अ बॉडी अलॉन्ग अ स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके एंड वन मोर थिंग हि डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी इट इज ए वेक्टर क्वांटिटी होप यू यू नो व्हाट इज द स्केलर क्वांटिटी एंड वेक्टर क्वांटिटी व्हाट इज द स्केलर क्वांटिटी अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी इज अ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी विच हैव ओनली magnitude but no direction example mass length area density okay and vector quantities are the quantity physical quantities which have both magnitude and direction for example display uh, displacement what we have taken now itself displacement velocity force acceleration okay all these are uh, come under the vector quantities i hope you have understood the position path length and the displacement okay i will send i will also uh, take the video of the nodes of these terms now let us see about the velocity and the speed so my dear students so let us see what is about uh, velocity and speed it is a very very important topic now so please concentrate Yeah. So velocity. I'll read out the definition. The velocity of the body is defined as the rate of change of displacement. Okay, rate of change of displacement, and v is equal to dx by dt. And what is the SI unit? It is meter per second. And dimensional formula is m not l t raised to minus one, and it is a vector quantity so this is about the velocity so now here in velocity we have types of velocity that is uniform velocity average velocity and instantaneous velocity now this velocity we can take it as delta x upon delta t also and this is x2 minus x1 upon t2 minus t1 okay where x2 is the final position of a body at time interval t2 and x2 is the position uh, sorry x1 is the position of a body at time interval t1 okay so we here this one is a definite uh, another equation for the velocity let us see what is the average velocity so average is same this only so v average is average velocity is again dx upon dt or delta x upon delta t okay and what is instantaneous velocity so for instantaneous means we have to write a limiting term that is limit of delta t tends to 0 and here we can take it as delta x upon delta t again which is equal to dx by dt okay so this is instantaneous velocity and what is the uniform velocity uniform velocity is the velocity in which the uh, in which displacement is covered in equal interval of time okay so that is uniform velocity right 
so let us uh, talk about the uh, now the speed so speed is same here of the velocity same as velocity but only thing is speed we can take it as the it is a scalar quantity and here what definition we have to write here see the definition for speed the speed of the body is defined as the rate of change of distance so one thing you have to note here it is the distance not the displacement distance only we will consider because speed is a scalar quantity okay at what speed the body uh, the vehicle is moving we only want the speed we don't want its direction in which direction it is moving maybe it it is moving in the north direction south direction nothing else so we want only how much at what speed the board, the vehicle is moving that's why it is taken as a scalar quantity so what is the again uh, the equation for speed it is again denoted by v because we cannot denote it by s because s is denoted by another distance displacement okay we can also see in the further for the next class i will say the equations of motion then we will see what is s there okay now here speed and velocity is de uh, de uh, is defined by the same symbol v v equal to dx by dt that is delta x upon delta t so x2 minus x1 by t2 minus t1 and here x2 is the distance at time interval t2 and x1 is the distance at time interval t1 and what will be the si unit it is same meter per second because it is distance here distance is measured in terms of meter and time is measured in terms of second dimensional formula what it is m not l t raised to minus 1 and it is a scalar quantity i told you scalar quantity is nothing but the it has the physical quantity which has only magnitude no direction so that you have to that is it should be like a print in your mind it should be imprinted in your mind what is a scalar quantity and what is a vector quantity as a student of physics right so therefore then average well average speed is taken as v average equal to dx by dt and delta x by delta t same uh, equations will be taking and only for instantaneous we will take the limiting value that's all that is uh, limit of delta t tends to zero delta x upon delta t okay now i will completely show you what is the meaning you can take it you can write it pause it and write it okay yes i hope you have understood students so please give the thumbs up like and subscribe to the channel and i will give you more information about the first qc first year and also second year and you also share with your friends okay and also i will be giving you the notes this is the notes you can you can pause it and write it down this is a uh, about velocity and speed speed i have written on the board itself so wherever velocity is there you can add uh, you can write it as speed Thank you students bye bye take care